bee in. A bee in is a celebration of bees, and I have a bee in event at each of the different uh, exhibitions I've ever held since the 1980s. I invite people to come one day and just make bees, and I give out different kinds of uh, materials like crayons or paints, paper, colored inks, and uh, even some chenille. Uh, I guess we call them pipe cleaners in the old days, and people make different items with the different materials that I put out for them to use. Hi, I'm Jane Beckwith. This is my art show, and today we're having a bee in because the theme of the show is about bees. Anytime I have an exhibit, I have a bee in, which is a gathering of people together and the theme of bees continues as they make bees out of materials that I've provided for them. So, so I'm going to wear my mask. <laughs> so. so Chris, uh, can you tell me about your bee? Well, it's all paper. Yeah? The prototypical yellow stripes okay. and wings this and is uh, stinger. a stinger. Yeah, I see the stinger. And does it have a name or any kind of a theme that you were thinking of? Well, no, just, you know, the uh, bee elements are there. So I don't know. It doesn't have a name yet. Pat can name it. What do you think? Pink head. Pink head, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going Pinky. Okay, Pinky, pinky the, for sure. Yeah, pinky, pinky the bee, pinky okay. The bee. So, Patterson, what kind of a bee is that? This bee is made out of um, yeah, so I'll be done in like two minutes. <laughs> but you also made your mask. Yeah. I made this last night. Yeah. Yeah. This is the great stuff. We never had this before. No, this is a new, a new product. It's self-sticking stripes, so it takes a lot of the heavy labor out of making a bee. This is a historic bee, and um, what, what we like about the these old-fashioned Paper fasteners allow the bee to fly, so that's a that's a good product for making bees. Can we talk about this one? Can you tell us about that bee? Okay. Fire. <laughs> <laughs> Bee fart. fart. Okay, that's very thoughtful of you. <laughs> yeah, he said bee fart. <laughs> he's a kid, you know. He's a, he's a kid. <laughs> this is Janet, and she's been wor you've been working on the, your beast for a while. Uh, and I got distracted by my own walking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But yes, this is my first bee. I wanted it to be a celebratory bee. Um, real colorful. I know bees don't really look like this. This one I saw the leaves and I thought, oh, so like, wait, this is so, this is a work of progress. <laughs> and we need to get you started. Okay, so these are the drawings. Quite delicate. Is, can you get in? So, what's inspiring you to do it? It is, yeah. I don't what? know much about these. I mean, I, I know they do some stamping and uh -huh. marking. And so I'm just, I need to refresh every once in a while to see what they really That's why we're doing the wings. Like, yeah, look at that wish. Yeah. And I always was afraid of stinging bees. I've never yeah. been stung. You have been stung? No, never? Oh. So this is, they're not, I'm not so familiar with this, yeah. a little, uh, you know, connection mm -hmm. for me. Yeah. Checking in. Did you pick bees? I kept bees uh, on my farm for about 20 years. Uh, I had beehives and made honey, or the bees made the honey. And, uh, yeah. So I got very interested in their lives and how they work together, and they're really kind of an inspiring animal. Yeah, they're very mm -hmm. much of a social. Uh, very social, and so that's partly why we have the bee in, to be social as people like the bees are. <laughs> so we need training. It's always solitary bees that don't make the honey. Right. There's all kinds of bees, yeah. you know. There's uh, different um, kinds of uh, 
lives that they have. And some live in caves, some live in, right. in, in trees. So they come, in, yeah, so they, yeah, yeah. And depending on the country too, because different countries will have different species. Well, I've been in places where bees have, have decided to move in. Uh huh. I remember being waking up in the morning in a place in the country. There were thousands of them, and they were looking. You know, they were moving. They were, and yeah, they just as a group. Left. Yeah, because they big. didn't have a queen, so they were going to. They were going they were to. Telling. Yeah, they were going to find a way to settle somewhere with a queen. Yeah, yeah, right. And and then you have to be careful if you move house and you keep bees, you have to tell them that you're moving. Yeah, you have to you have to tell them. Or if the beekeeper dies, somebody has to tell the bees that the beekeeper has died so that they don't go away. Yeah. 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 They'll they'll know that change. Let's say you didn't live there anymore, and you tell them I'm moving. Would they stay there? But somebody has to take care of them. Yeah. If there's a new beekeeper, you tell them. Yeah. How do you tell them that you're moving? You just tell them. You go and tell them. Little brownies, little brownies. Your master is dead. If your beekeeper dies. There are a lot of things that are harmful to bees. I think you've probably read about what's going on there. So what kind of food would you give them? Sugar. <laughs> sugar, they yeah. sugar. Yeah. I am a drawing inspiration from the large right right now on the wall. Um, the beginning of a new series that Jane um, started and is going to be finishing soon after the pandemic's over. And I'm using a couple different types of um, medium. Uh, color pencil and some crayon and I'm going to now do a little bit of resist. Oh, so, let's, yeah. let's see. Uh, watercolor. Okay. Okay. Can you hold it up so you can see that one? Yeah. <laughs> so are you going to do the resist here? I thought I'd do it at the table. Okay. Can we go back to the table? So Shannon, how are you, how are you going to do a resist? Do you have, do you need water? Oh, there's water right here. Okay. I'm so <laughs> How are you? Yeah, you too. <laughs> I don't know. So a resist happens when you have a waxy crayon, something that will resist the water, that will the water will run away from it. So what she's doing, you have to use the you have to use the water really thin, the paint really, really thin over top. And yeah, there you go. Now it's working. So the, 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 um, the actually the water is kind of puddling away from where the drawing is because the drawing's made of a waxy crayon. You know, before the, before COVID, when I would have a bee and it would be a lot of children would come and families would come, but unfortunately with the current conditions, people really are, if they don't know people that are in the group, then they're a little reluctant, so. So, but uh, I think we might have some customers here, maybe. Hi, are you gonna come in and make a bee? We're gonna make a bee? Yeah, come on in. <laughs> come on right in. It just takes anything you like from the table, find a place, there's another table down at the end here, and you can sit do down. It for every time I have a gallery show, I have, I do a, a B in. A B archive. Yeah, yeah that's from a past shows. Like when, uh, actually when at Mer American Fine Arts, I actually had three B ins, three years in a row. So it was like, amazing. yeah. Oh, excellent. All right, well. Okay, we'll, we'll see you over there. So that's a resist, that's working.
Do you have everything you need, Mary? I just got the wings. Uh, Neil's doing the body. I'm going to be in charge of wings. Okay. <laughs> There's some nice little little bees. <laughs> Yeah. Thanks for coming. It was really nice. We stayed a long time. Thank you. Yeah. Let uh, me get a pair of scissors. Yes. <laughs> These work. <laughs> Here you go, Mary. Scissors for all. So, so are you making uh, anything? Sure. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> are you maybe decorating the wings a little bit? Well, this is somebody else's. That's okay. It was, it's a historic bee, so you can oh, add to it if you want to. Yeah. You know, I've never used it before. Oh, the new version. Oh, actually, I wanted to ask you about some of the press blankets, but that's foam is what Jane used to make the colored backgrounds of some of those prints. Yes. The foam is great for them. Yes. Yeah, I do. This uh, Beans began in about the 1980s when I first started to have gallery shows in New Jersey and Washington, D.C. and uh, in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. And I started having the, the beans to bring people together and have an experience of working together and talking together and kind of having like a little party. And uh, it just grew into this kind of a, an, uh, an event that uh, I do one, one day uh, during a gallery show. So this show is going to be up until the end of the month of December. The last day is New Year's Eve. So uh, I'll be here on Saturdays. I'll be here on Saturday the 18th and Saturday the 31st. If people want to come, I'll still be very happy to have people come and make bees on those days. This is the official bee in day, but I'd be glad to see other people to come at, if they like any time. Thank you. Thank you, Adele. Oh, that's beautiful, Mary. That's really.